I put a post out on social media recently that said, what's the most ridiculous thing you've ever been told to man up for? And obviously I had a lot of men in the comments going like, oh, I ordered a korma. Well, it wasn't spicy enough. I should have manned up and had something spicy. Or I ordered a, a I got gay because I ordered a cocktail. Or I cried at a bit, of, a bit of really emotional TV and someone called me gay and told me to man up. Got a couple more here. Hold on. Uh, manipulative partners that will tell you to man up for expressing any insecurities or wanting to be vulnerable. Like if you're in the person closest to you, if you can't even feel vulnerable with them, if you're building your relationships around this particular interpretation of what it means to be that gender how are you ever going to be happy like there's a bit of a trend of cis men in particular becoming dependent upon their female partners for emotional support because that's the only time that we ever feel able to feel vulnerable what they really need is friends or a therapist right you know examples of men being told to man up because their pet has died and they're upset they've been injured and they just need to man up and fucking get over it and the idea is that being seen to be feminine or not masculine or fitting a particular version of masculinity seem to be bad. But I've got a response from proponents of traditional masculinity. It's like, oh no, it's not just, you know, it's not just about like the physical strength and like the machismo and all that stuff and violent or whatever. It's all about working hard and taking responsibility and doing the right thing. That's what makes you a man. I was like, well, none of those things are inherently masculine. Those are things women can do. That's things people of non-binary genders can all do. There's nothing distinctly masculine about those things. The idea is to sort of co-opt all these positive attributes and attribute them to men only. And by the same token, other positive attributes, things like nurturing, vulnerability, emotional maturity, are relegated only to feminine genders. And we are also completely capable of those things. And it's important that we are and that we're able to express those sides of ourselves. I've actually had a few women in the comments as well saying that other people have told them to man up because of because even though they are socialised to be feminine, their own femininity is also derided and devalued. Even when it comes to really bad stuff like abuse and stuff or inappropriate behaviour from men, oh, just man up and get over it. It's just locker talk. It's just lads being lads. And this tendency to push emotions down and feel like we're not able to show vulnerability or do anything outside of this narrow box of what it means to be a man is what we mean by toxic masculinity. There are some people who, when you use the term toxic masculinity, will immediately throw the toys out of the pram and say, masculinity isn't toxic. How dare you say that masculinity is toxic? As I know, I mean, does me talking about cheeseburgers mean that all burgers are now cheeseburgers? No. I feel like this song is all about reclaiming masculinity in a wholesome way, a way that allows us to be the people that we want to be. So I don't know how many of you know the YouTube channel Jubilee, what they do is they take on people of differing social and political views and get them to talk and debate with each other and try and find some middle ground. It's a really good program. Could be better in places, uh, but, you know, it's worthwhile watching. And there was one where the question was, is masculinity in crisis? And this is a question that we've been asking forever. Whenever there's been a social change, when we started to accept gay people, it's like, oh, we don't, we don't know what it means to be a man anymore. When women started getting rights, well, oh, we don't know what it means to be a man anymore. It's like, no, you just just means something different, something better. It means it doesn't mean subjugating women, it means it doesn't mean, it means it doesn't mean subjugating gay people anymore. And there was one gentleman on the more conservative side of things who says that masculinity is in crisis and stuff, we don't know what it means to be a man anymore. There's a line in my song that says, if you don't know what it means to be a man anymore, take a look around, you've got more options than ever before. I know that you can find the will to explore the person that was frightened out of you at age four. And this particular gentleman, there was a disconnect between two phrases that he made. Because of the role that we've given men in society, whether in the West or otherwise, oh, well, men have to go out and be the breadwinners and earn all the money and do all the hard work. You know, we, you know we've got the highest level of suicide rate. We occupy the highest prison population. You know, we're, all, we're the majority in the army that gets sent off to die in foreign wars. You know, we, we're disproportionately affected by, uh, in the worst scenarios when it comes to couples breaking up and, get, you know, Containing custody of assets and the children and stuff. And like, I agree, those are all really bad things. And then these people tend to blame all this on feminism. They'll blame it on women. Like he said earlier in the conversation, what it means to be a man is to be strong and tough and and take responsibility for everyone you know and being stoic and not letting things ever get you down. It's like, do you not realise those two things have led into each other? The reason men have ended up in these roles in society is because of the way that we've raised them. If you want to fix this, you have to fix this. As I said, it's about pulling pulling people out of the river is good, but we've got to stop them falling in. And, you know, the sooner we stop socialising, not just men, but people of all genders to be a certain way, 
the healthier a society will be and the happier we will be. Man down, before we get to another. Man down, let's hear it for our brothers. Man down, there's no need to keep it all.